I know that I am at this moment perfectly sane and will speak quickly. At any moment, the lift of my life may break. This may be the last thing I ever tell on earth. I know, dear. I'm sorry, but I do hate to see you go. I'll only be three months on the coast. It's just a trip. Uh, I wish you weren't going. Don't, don't worry. I'll, no, I won't do anything. Wrong. Promise me that you'll be extra careful. I promise I will. That you won't yes. fall asleep at the wheel. And don't pick up strangers. Okay? Wire me as soon as you get to Hollywood. Of course. Uh, goodbye. I was in excellent spirits. The drive ahead of me, even the loneliness, seemed like a lark, but I reckoned without it. Crossing the Brooklyn Bridge. Crossing the Brooklyn Bridge that morning in the rain, I saw a man leaning against the cables. He seemed to be waiting for a lift. There were fresh spots of rain on his shoulders. He was carrying a cheap overnight bag in his one hand. He was thin, nondescript, with a cap pulled down over his eyes. He stepped off the walk, and if I hadn't swerved, I would have hit him. I would have forgotten him, except that just an hour later, I saw him again. At least, he looked like the same person. He was standing now with one thumb pointing west. I couldn't figure out how he got there, but I thought probably one of those fast trucks had picked him up, beat him into the skyway, and let him off. I didn't stop for him. Then late that day, I saw him again. I saw him again, standing under an arc light by the side of the road. I could see him quite distinctly. The bag, the cap, even the spots of fresh, fresh paint over his shoulders. He hailed me this time. Excuse me, sir. Sir? 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 Yeah. I'm kind of in a hurry here. What's the problem? I think I might have some engine trouble here. I wonder what you can do. Let's take a look. Yeah. Here we go. What do you think is wrong? Okay, what? Here that was pretty fine. Pretty good here. Well, listen, uh, sir, have you... I, have you seen any hitchhikers around in these, these parts? Yeah. Hitchhiker be a fool to be around here. Boy, you seen any? No, no, I haven't. No, no. I'm just asking, you know. I, okay. Just a technical question. I haven't seen any hitchhikers. Everything looks fine. That'll be a dollar fifty. was driving slowly, drinking it in, and there he was. There was nothing menacing about him, nor was he sinister. He merely stood there, waiting, almost drooping a little, and the cheap overnight coat in his hand. He looked as though he had been waiting. He hailed me, and he started to walk forward. Thank you for stopping. Going to California? No. No, no, I, I, I'm going the other way. I, I'm, I'm going to Cal I'm going to New York. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Help me, someone. You gotta help me. You help me, please. Who are you? Who's there? There's, there's someone. In Call the sheriff! Who shoots? 
like a ride? Where, how far are you going? Amarillo, Texas. Amarillo, Texas? Yeah, I'll take you there. Gee. Check much? Yes, sir. Well, listen. Suppose I'm driving at like a steady clip of maybe 45 miles an hour, right? Yes. And uh, I, a girl beats me through town after town in a truck going, let's see, let's say about 70 miles an hour. Do you think they, that girl could beat me to every town? Maybe. I think she could. Well, it's just a dumb idea I had. What anyway. do you think about this? Well, I don't know. Look out! Did you see him? Did you see that guy? No, did see I didn't see him at all. Well, I saw him. I, I saw that guy. Uh, did you see him? I, I'm sure you saw him. Let me out of you. No How way. Do please don't go. Let me please out of don't you. go. Please. Leave me alone. Help. Please. Don't go. Don't leave. She ran from me. I knew then that I was utterly alone. I was in the heart of the great Texas prairie. There wasn't a car on the road. I tried to figure out what to do, how to get hold of myself. If I could find a place to rest, I could sleep right here in the car for a few hours. Then I saw him coming toward me. No. I was beside myself when I finally reached Gallup, New Mexico. I had the feeling that if only I could speak to someone familiar, someone that I loved, Get I could pull here. myself hey, together. Hey, man. Hey. Number, please. Beachwood, 120506. Oh, 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 this is long distance. Go ahead. I'd like to speak to Brooklyn, uh, Beachwood, 10563. Oh, Ready with Brooklyn. Go ahead, please. Yes, I, I'd like to speak to uh, Mrs. Adams. Mrs. Mother? Uh, Mrs. Adams is not here. W where is she? Uh, she is not here. Who is this, please? This, this, is, her, this is her son. Uh, well, uh, Mrs. Adams is not at home. She's still in the hospital. The hospital? Yes. W w why was she in the hospital? She's been prostrated with grief for five days. Ner nervous breakdown. Who is this calling? This is this is her son. Uh, well, my mother has never been nervous. It's all taken place since the death of her oldest son, Richard. Uh, me, my, Ronald, my yes, the death Ronald. of my oldest son. Yes, it's all been very sudden. He was killed just six days ago in an automobile accident on the Brooklyn Bridge. Three minutes are up. And so, I am sitting here in this deserted auto camp in Gallup, New Mexico. I am trying to think. I'm trying to get a hold of myself. Otherwise, I shall go mad. Ahead of me stretch a thousand miles of empty mountains, prairies, deserts. Somewhere among them, he is waiting for me. Somewhere I shall know who he is and who I am. Uh.